You understand? That don't fit the world. So you understand what I'm saying? Okay, it makes a lot of sense. It makes sense. Yeah, makes some sense. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. So all these other religions, that, that don't make sense. Because when you dig deep into these other religions, they pay you. agree with. What's that? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't even encourage any type of, John 10 1, any type of structure for it gets the it. average it, black it, person situation, but then again, okay. But now, and then again, there's 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 an aspect of common sense. Okay, but a lot of people don't have common people, sense. A lot of people don't have it or choose not to use it because, sort of as you said, they're dead. It's it's sort of and, being and, dead in dead mentally. And it's some of them, some some, the some of them have common sense. They choose to be wicked too. They choose to be there are, wicked. There are people like that. You got people. I don't think there's a lot. Of, I think oh, what? actually, that's not the. How many people, women thing. come here and, and are half dressed when it's like 80s, 90 degrees out here, behind out, breast out, and we show, and, and they say they believe in God, and then we show again. them according to the word of God. You're not supposed to be dressed like that, and they say well, I'm going to dress see, like see, that anyway. See, you you have that aspect because in America, if you're not following the word of God. You don't have the, the, the intuition to basically follow a certain path. So yeah, this wild. But the Lord, but but if you go in in a village, right? You have women barely dressed, but the men act cordially. Okay, but they're that's not the, they're not un, they're not unrestrained. But that that's a lifestyle. That's a, that, that's that's how the heathens, maybe your people, well, or see, African, that's the thing. Give me um, hold it's, it's, it's just uh, first three. It's years. a difference in location, Ten and but it's something in this country. It's a different lo a location, but there's a spirit and a, a, a culture that supports or doesn't speak against those those actions you're talking about. And what I'm trying to tell you, those are what we would call in our culture as a Jew or Israelite. Those are heathenistic ways. Those are heathenistic ways, and the Lord don't want us to be a part of that. You understand? You got certain rituals in little villages and places that the Lord doesn't want us to be a part, doesn't want us to partake of. You understand? It might be common or not looked down upon in those villages that you're talking about, but it's still against the word of the Lord. And those same people are going to be destroyed in Judgment Day if they, if they continue. So, that's the same. Let me just read this for you real quick. First Corinthians 10 and 20, based on what you just said. First Corinthians 10, verse 20. Come on. But well, I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice. The things which the Gentiles sacrifice, the non-Jews, maybe their religions, their cultures that deal with their religions, or their pagan beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. But I say on, that the things yeah. which the Gentiles sacrifice, Come on. they sacrifice to devils. They sacrifice to devils. You understand? So a lot of the culture and the rituals that's in villages or countries abroad, the Lord said those rituals or those customs, they sacrifice unto devils. Now we'll see what Paul said to our people. He's going to go further. Come on. And not to God. And not to God. Come on. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. See that? You can't have fellowship with devils. So some of our people, they would still want to indulge in that. Even though we show them the truth, they still going to want to indulge in that. But now what does the Lord say? Read the 21st verse. What does the Lord say? It's like, it's like, it's like being a diabetic almost, but you ate sugar half your life. Right. You don't always have a taste for it. Right. And that's the, that's but the now if I educate you, you but, but if I educate you. It makes it harder to, to not go back to it. But, but if I educate. It makes it harder to go back to it. But then you might, but, but even with that, some people might say, well, I'm not going to eat that's that much sugar. I'm not going to eat that to, to allow the information to absorb. Right. But, but this then you say, yo, you know what? I know better now. I know that's going to make my leg fall. But that's not, but that's not, but usually. Right. To a degree, yeah. To a degree. Ask you this, though. And what you're doing, as what you just stated, the position, the predicament everyone is in. Right. What is the use of preaching to be? As you said, Things will happen Isaiah 49 in the five. end of day, judgment day. Right. So it's inevitable. So what's the point of the point is, is the, the, the point is the Lord sent us out here to gather as much as our people as possible based on His spirit. You know, based on His spirit and I've Him waking up. I've heard that in, in church. Okay, but you heard in church when you heard it, it wasn't pertaining to gathering these people together. And the message that was Good taught, point. and the message that was taught in church is completely different from the message we're teaching now. Yeah. And right. in the church, they celebrate two dollars. We do our mission right here. So, yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah forty-nine, verse five. And now, says the Lord. Now 
Allah says to the Lord, come on. That's for me! Run the move! So, before, men are created to do away.